Hey everybody, Drawing Chaos here with another satisfactory video. We're back in 1.0 and things are looking... Well, things are looking up. Now, I would love to get into what just happened. Why things look a little bit different. Why I'm driving a train. What? That's crazy. But I kind of want to fix some of these issues before I get into that. But let me show you why I love roundabouts. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so the train thing has been completed, but we have come across a few issues. In term, this one right here. I mean, what's wrong with the nice little spiral going all the way down? Am I right? <laughs> That's what's wrong. It looks like it works perfectly. It doesn't work perfectly. It clips into some of the railways and whatnot, and I got to relook at it or ignore it. I don't know if I can ignore it, but I definitely can look look at it. Which reminds me, let's add in an extra stop. Let's go to Chain Lightning. Save the changes and will that work? Okay, moment of truth. Will this work? <laughs> yeah! Oh, I edited this in here just so we could have a stop at the power plant, but also so we could have enough power coming into the system. Now, this is my, by the way, this is my personal train. So I use this train to go from station to station. That's why there's no cars on it just yet. But basically, now if I want to go around the map or just have something that'll get me over there where I can just sit back and relax, this is it. Although I was kind of looking at the train rails and thinking I might have to move this one section because of that. It doesn't bother me, but it bothers me, you know what I mean? Uh, Alright, I'll survive. But anyway, now I can just sit back relax and enjoy the train ride back home and we can get underway with what I got planned ah we're back home man I can't wait to get this actually underway so I can give it a name to this place chaos topia who knows something simple like that <laughs> and around we go All aboard! <laughs> there we go! Then we can climb up this ladder. And we can make our way down the stairs to where I hope to put my hypertube to get into the entrance. Oh wait, that means we can actually have to put a hypertube entrance on it. There we go. Perfect. Anyway, welcome back to the base. I've done a uh, few little bit of remodeling going on over here. And most of it comes down to say hello to the new blueprint. So originally what I had, if I load up the blueprint, I go down to trains. I had these regular main train lines right here. So we'll take the center one. That'd be the easiest way to do it. This is what the original one was. Then I noticed when I was putting in the train tracks, I had them right here in the middle and they would clip into this little stuff right here. And I thought that was very annoying. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just get rid of these. But then I was like, what if I wanted a personal track or another track on top? And if you look at it from here, it looks so cool having the extra track up there. Of course, the, you know, the railways kind of just hang off of there. But I honestly, I like it. Considering it's only going to be like one track that's on there, I do like it. So what I did was, I extended it. I added in a second track and then I just made sure that the locomotive would fit underneath here. Perfectly. And uh, yeah. That is how I decided to go above and beyond for the train tracks. 
Of course, that did mean I had to make the power towers a little bit higher because, well, just in case, I can still ride the rails in case the power is not working. So what are we working on today? What is so special about today? Well, I will tell you. But first, we must have a message from our sponsor. And oh, there's our sponsor right now. Corporate Overlord. Hello. Welcome back. Funny story, you see this Mercer Sphere that's right here? Well, I picked up every single one of those. I did. You can tell it's not in its little encasing. Now granted, some of them were actually not in a encasing before, but there's something interesting about this one. Let's go into organization. We're gonna get ourselves a radar tower and we're gonna hook this bad boy up to power. Yay. Now that should be the only one in the area. Perfect. Now it says I have six in the vicinity of this area right here. But if I look up to like say this one, this one says I have absolutely none. But I guarantee you if I go up there with my object scanner, I will see one. Cause guess what happened? Guess what, guess what, guess what? There was an update to the game and in the update to the game, they kind of respawned some uh, uh, some fancy objects. And well, you know, I didn't know how long it would last. So shiny, I went to go. F I went to go find shinies, basically. Not so much of Mercer Spears, but mostly Somber Sloops. This little good thing, this little Mercury Sphere right here, I have up uh, like 75 of them. I don't really care. But Somber Sloops, now that I'm up to 61 of them, ooh, that's six extra power tower things that I could be building. <laughs> I can't believe they did that. And I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, oh, what's coming out? Oh my God, it's so soon. Um, Christmas, Fixmas. So when Fixmas comes out, I'm wondering if this will happen again. I'm kind of hoping, but not hoping. You know what I mean? Because I... I wouldn't say no to some more Somers Loop, although there might be one in the advent calendar this year. <laughs> that would be really cool. But they seem to have patched this out too. So for those of you that think that you're going to go into your game and start doing that stuff, uh, sorry, time's up. Now, this is the thing that I want to work on today. Say hello to this, the hypertube. I want to make down here a little hyper tube room and this is going to be very interesting because the idea is I want to be able to have the hyper tubes going wherever they want. Let's see what's underneath here. Okay, so I have room underneath here. The idea is that this one right here will bring you down. All right, horizontal, vertical, bah, 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 let's say. Oh, so this is the middle. So this hypertube support, the idea is that it's going to come down there and I want to put boosters on there so it flies down and then it can just get sucked into the hole. But when it comes out of the hole, I want it to be able to go into one spot. That spot right up there. So I have to make one that brings it all through the center and then one that brings it all the way back down. So that's what we're going to work on today. And then I kind of want to make this room a little bit like cool looking and also have a. Uh, what is it called? Oh, my God, my brain is fried. Uh, maintenance area. I want to have it like maintenance area. We can actually come in here and check things out. All right, first things first, we're going to put, let's see, is it four of them? No, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are the six that it's going to come into. Every single one is in the exact same center. And then what I can do is I can take this and we can switch it over to a floor hole. Okay. So the idea is that it's going to come through the floor hole. And then the entrance on there brings this one down. 
get rid of this out of the way and you can just escape. Okay, so if this is the return trip, say I'm coming down the return trip and I pop up, I'm just going to go flying up, which is not good because I wanted to go that way. Hmm. But if I, because I could just make this come down and all I have to do is make, where is the floor entrance? Okay. So all I have to do is kind of make one like this. The only problem is that'll give me too much speed and I'll probably shoot past it instead of being pulled down. So that's not going to be good. Don't want it to go too fast, but I, although if I can make it shoot straight down. Okay, so we got test number one. So if this works, it brings me down here. It makes me go faster and I should get pulled straight down. If this works, then I can switch these to going straight up and that'll push me straight over. So what I can do is if this works, what I can do is I can take one. I can put it in here and then I can just kind of raise it up or something like that. Anyway, let me test out this real quick. I had this strange feeling. It's just not going to work. Location A. We. Where did I go? Help, I'm stuck. Help, life alert, help. Okay. It felt like it pushed me back because like this was. Yeah, that should have pushed me right down there and in water, too. So that would have saved my butt, too. Okay, for some reason that didn't work. Well, what if I had something that pushed me down? Let's try another one where I have all these set up on like, say a wall or something like that. Also, in case this works, I'm building it in a blueprint. So ideally, what I want to do is I want to grab this and have it come down like something like that. Which means if I go into architecture, I should be able to grab a painted beam. Let's bring it one, two. And then what if I bring not this one, this one. How does that like almost work? <gasps> Wait, what if I press H, hold control and go? I mean, I can go back a smidgen. Wait, could I just do painted beam H to hold and then control and go back a smidgen? Would that also do it? That also did it. Hell yeah. Oh, here's a nice little trick I learned. So see how this has the thing painted this way. If you make it in a blueprint designer and did I do a temporary? No. If you make it in the blueprint designer, all right, you you can actually rotate it whichever way you want. So if I want this to be on a different one, I could just basically make it in the blueprint designer and then change it up however I want. Okay, I have it turned on. It kind of fits. I have to delete this section and aim it properly before I go on there. But we're ready for round number two. I feel like I'm gonna get stuck again. <laughs> what do you guys think? Leave it down in the comments on whether or not you think I'll get stuck. All right, too late. What is going on? Whoa. Can I jump? Can I do anything? I can't. I'm stuck. <gasps> Dude, I'm stuck. Who voted stuck? Who voted stuck? I'm endlessly stuck. Oh, we need some like techno music. Um, uh, hold please while I try to figure out how to get. Dude, new bug. 
That killed me. That freaking killed me. I died. Oh my god. I died so hard. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. All right. Well, that was a little uh crappy. But what if I decide to bring it back just a smidgen more? Because it should shoot me enough just to go in there. What if I bring it back? Will I get stuck again? I don't know, but this time we're going to watch the death animation if it happens. Onward! And away! Oh! Well, that actually worked. Well, now... What we're gonna do, I'm gonna switch this to this. We're gonna have you come and we're gonna have you come in this one. Okay, so I don't know which one I did. That look this, I mean, this one looks slightly different. Oh, yeah, that's right. I just choose Chrome again. Customizer always applied. Okay, so it is this one. Okay, so now the idea is we're gonna put this one over here and we're gonna put an entrance on it. We'll hook it up to power. And now if I go in here, it'll come down and it'll pop me up. Yay! Now the idea is I want to be popped up and I want to be shot over to go up. So what I can do is what if we take, let's go for walls. Let's put um on both sides and then you know what? Let's go architecture. Let's go roof. Let's put glass roof so we can do some fun stuff with glass. Yeah. Put one here. Put one here. Now what will happen is... Boom! Limits my height. But what also happens is we can take in one of these and oh no i gotta put in the foundation first eh, something like that and then now we build in these so the idea is we're gonna put something like the only issue is it needs to be able to suck up all of these so do we do them side by side or whatever let me figure something out real quick and then i'll i'll come back to it Okay, so funny story. I, I was building a roof and it turns out that that crashed the game. <gasps> Who I didn't even test anything out. I deleted a couple of things and I was building a small amount and it's God. Oh, good thing I saved. I, 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 I think I, I really don't remember. Okay. I'm back to a good position and I saved the game. So check it out. I have all the hyper tubes going there and then I'm really hoping this works. If not, I'll just delete this and kind of connect it. But then it goes in here and then each one goes in the middle and then this one comes out, hits this and goes over. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, so test number one. We're going to see if we can actually go in there without hurting ourselves in the rapid fire. Da -da 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 -da. <sighs> Will we get stuck again? Nah, probably. Yep. Yep, it, ha it, it happened. Perfect. I love it when a plan comes together. How the hell did that do that? Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a hypertube. And we're going to bring Mr. Hypertube. There we go. Let's try that again. All right. One more time. Whee! 
Yeah! Now, let's put a hypertube entrance. Grab this. Now, let's say I'm coming back. Ha! How? <laughs> oh my god. What? Oh god, did you hear that crunch? Uh, something's going on with hypertubes. I swear to god. Boy, I'll tell you what. At least I have this little baby. This little baby never fails me. There we go. All right, let's go back. Hooray! That didn't kill me. What is going- I don't know what's going on with hypertubes, but, you know. Perfect. Wee! And then I survive. And then I go back in the tube. Crunch again. Oh. Okay, so it seems that the return trip seems to be having issues. I wonder if it has anything to do with the the, the floor holes. Oh, I overshot that just a smidgen. So it might have something to do with this floor hole, or maybe the fact that it's in the middle of two found, uh, foundations. Could go either way, who knows. Okay, I moved it around a little bit, but I still made it go through the floor. I'm gonna try one more time. We're just gonna go right here, go in the floor, yada yada yada. Uh, pop out, and then we're gonna go back in. I probably didn't have to do this part, but it's still fun. Wee. We and still dead. You know what? Nice just fetal pose right there. Kinda wish I could get a better shot of it. <laughs> Need my friend to come in and just be like, hey. Hey, listen, bud, can you, uh, can you just take a couple shots of this? There we go. Ooh, the crunch every time. All right, it's, it's gotta work now. It's just gotta. Whee! All right, there we go. <laughs> yeah. So apparently getting through the wall hole seems to work just great. For some reason, I think it has something to do with the floor. So if you have it on the floor, it kind of glitches you in the floor and all that momentum kills you. So at least there's that. So we figured it out. There's That's nice. So now all I can do is I can go down, I can go in, and I can go out to wherever I need to go to in the base. And then when I'm coming back, the only problem with coming back is I kind of have to push myself into the center, but then it throws me over here and I'm good. Now the fun part is to decorate this whole entire area. <laughs> Let's go. All right. So we got our, you know, regular hyper tube room and it, this is all nice and everything, but now we go down here, and this is how it's going to be separated. We have a little maintenance area. You can check it out. Some lighting, of course, looking really cool. 
Of course, you can come down here and go into each one separately if you want. I think it came along really good. Uh, the best part about it is you come down here, you get shot away, and then all I have to do... Uh, we'll go into this one. And then... Uh, jump! And there we go. So the idea is now all I have to do is just take a bunch of hyper tubes, hook them down to here, and then I can bring them to anywhere in the map that I need to go. Ooh. And my plan is that I'm going to basically use these hyper tubes for this entire build. So anything that I need to go, like to the roof or whatever, we'll make a hyper tube and we'll just kind of like bring it out there. But right now I can just go back. Oh my god, that auto save, I thought it was going to crash again. Whee! And then just pop back out. Yeah! <laughs> Perfect! Looks glorious. Give it a nice little... There we go, and maybe people will, will be able to see those up there. Or would the other side look better? Got like a half and half almost. Anyway, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoy. We got a lot more work to do in the next episode. I got to keep working on these trains and building the train station and whatnot. So we can actually get some items for these freaking things that are around here. And I, I might have come back here because I forgot how much of well, how many I needed. And all that. <laughs> but that's beside the point. Anyway. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.